So now we have our piece marked out, we need to dot punch before we drill. So dot punching creates a small indent just where the hole is going to go and that guides the tip of the drill bit in straight to stop the drill bit from walking. So when we're marking a hole, please never do this. This is very inaccurate and if you imagine in this big black dot here, you could end up dot punching anywhere in this dot that's in fact about 3 mil um, in diameter. So you're going to have a very inaccurate hole. Please just mark it with the crosshairs, nice and accurate. So we set our piece down on the back of the vise. We lay our dot punch down with the tip on the very exact point. We raise it up and we very gently just tap it with a hammer. So if you can see there now, I've got a very small indent ready for the drill bit to go into. Okay, so now we know how to dot punch. The next thing to do is to set up the drill safely. So first things first is we always need to wear our safety goggles on the drill at all times. And the next thing is to set up the drill bit in line with your hole. So the machine vise moves, as we've seen in previous videos, and the whole point of dot punching was to allow for a small little indent where the hole needs to be drilled for the tip of the drill bit to sit into. If you don't dot punch, what can happen is the drill bit can walk, which means it will just go off by a couple of mil or two. The next thing then is the guard. This is very important because this can protect you in the event of cracking. So you put the guard down gently with the springs. Please do not just slap it down because that makes a lot of noise and leads to the guard getting damaged. And this little black knob here just slots out and you can put in your guard. So that guard is now secure. If we look at the switch here, we've got a small black switch here with a red button. The red button is the emergency stop. And if you feel unsafe in any way, shape or form, just hit that red button and take a step back from the drill. So we press that black button first, and then we've got two speeds. We've got drill speed one, and we've got drill speed two. So as you can probably tell by the sound, drill speed two is notably faster than drill speed one. For this hole here, we will go with drill speed one, nice and easy. And this lever here raises and lowers the drill bit. So I'm left-handed, so it's easy enough for me to press my, my left hand nice and securely on the machine vise. And we lower the lever nice and gently until it starts to drill. So you're nice and slowly applying pressure to the lever and you'll start to see material um, clear out from the hole. Do not just mill it down and go straight through it. It's nice and gentle. Nice and gentle, up and down, up and down, and we've got wood underneath it, so as soon as I see little bits of wood come out from the wood underneath it, that's when I am lifting it up. I then turn it off, wait for it to stop. Once it's completely stopped then, you can pull out the little black knob that we talked about earlier for the guard. That lifts up the guard, you can clear away any swarf from the, the drill bit, and that's your hole drilled.